Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our virtual cultural exchange between Morocco and Gibraltar. This event is organized jointly by the Gibraltar Morocco Business Association and the Straits of Gibraltar Association, of which Mr. Brahim Krikas is our president. I am Henry Sacramento, your host from this evening, transmitting live from the Casbah in Tangier. Today, we feature the person responsible for managing the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme in Morocco. But before I introduce him, let us see some footage. The Duke of Edinburgh's International Award is the world's leading youth achievement award and has transformed the lives of millions of young people over the past 60 years. In today's uncertain world, young people face more challenges than ever, from struggling education systems to increasing inequality and greater competition for jobs and resources. All this uncertainty contributes to a growing frustration that can leave young people feeling excluded from society and unable to find their place in the world. As a global framework for non-formal education, the award helps young people deal with these and other problems and is open to anyone between the ages of 14 to 24, regardless of gender, background or ability. The award helps many young people to unleash their potential and build up their a caring heart for others. The award is a self-challenging program. You can learn more than you expect. Don't miss it. By creating opportunities for young people to develop skills, get physically active, give service and experience adventure, the award gives them the chance to challenge themselves, leave their comfort zones and gain invaluable experience for the future. There are three levels to the award, and each level has four sections, with a fifth at gold level. Participants complete their activities with the guidance of an award leader, and at each level increase the time, commitment and challenge in order to achieve an award. Doing the award means young people gain skills that are best learned outside the classroom, including building confidence, gaining teamwork skills, and developing greater resilience and problem-solving abilities. What I learned is that to achieve anything, you've got to be committed, you've got to be dedicated, um, and you mustn't give up when the going gets tough. I started to see that I had the potential to be who I want to be and not be restricted by my wheelchair. It's also proven to help with attainment in education, as well as help with future job and study prospects. I was surprised at what I achieved. I wasn't the first to have my life changed by the award, and I won't be the last. There's more in you than you think. Before I joined the award, I had an outline of who I was, but after I joined, I saw the full picture with colour. The award taught me lots of things, but probably amongst the most important um, is self-reliance, being independent and just having the confidence to go out there and, uh, and achieve amazing things. It's just unbelievable for me that I found a new world. I, I started a new beginning of my life. And I'd like to remind our viewers that you can put up your questions to us uh, during the course of this transmission. Um, let me introduce our guest. He was born on the 24th of June 1996 in Targuis, near Al Husayma. 
He holds a bachelor degree in English literature with a focus on leading and developing young individuals, skills, and has extensive experience in many associations as a participant. He had the chance to work as an English teacher in many private schools and language centers. In addition to his experience in trading and working in different fields, which enables him to gain the experience needed to invest in strengthening young individuals' capabilities and help them overcome their challenges. Currently, he is in charge of coordinating the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award in the Straits of Gibraltar Association. A very good evening and welcome, Mr. Saad Ben Yakub. Good evening, Mr. Stephen. Uh, thank you for hosting me this evening. Uh, it's really a pleasure to take part of uh, this cultural event. It's a pleasure to have you with us, transmitting live much. from the Casbah here in Tangier. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mr. Saad, tell us, what mm -hmm. is the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award? Explain to us briefly. Uh, well, it's a global framework for non-formal education and learning that challenges young people to dream big. So in a nutshell, the award uh, uh, is increasing the fitness level, uh, developing adventurous journey and uh, volunteer spirit in youth community. So uh, the award helps young people to find their purpose. It's a, a, a personal challenge it's an individual challenge so participants design uh, a program of their own activities and define their own goals and challenges to achieve their goals so why should young people uh, aim to go for this award well the doke of edinburgh or the DOFI is about uh, helping along with the path to uh, a productive and prosperous future. So to inspire young people to make a difference within their communities and uh, 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 to or to an individual's life uh, and develop compassion between, by giving service to, uh, to the others. So the DOFI program is offered at three levels. So we have the bronze and uh, the silver and the gold. Wow, sounds so, so interesting. But yes, share, share, share with it us. Is. <laughs> what mm -hmm. training have you done with the Duke of Edinburgh Awards <clears throat> team in the UK to qualify you to, to uh -huh. uh, take on this role? Well, uh, I have done six courses so far. So they are e-learning courses, which means online courses. They introduce delegates to the components of the award and gives information about the knowledge, the skills, and behaviors and tools that uh, which uh, which are useful for uh, delivering the award. How long is it taking you to do these online courses? Uh, well, uh, concerning the, the, the length of time, uh, the training has taken uh, about a month and a half because I have taken other courses in Arabic as well because we are going to deliver the award in Arabic. So the inshallah. process, uh, uh, yeah, inshallah. So the process of learning is, is taking this length because, you know, I'm caring about details and... Uh, I'm starting something new and it should be done the right way, isn't it? <laughs> Absol absolutely. There's no other way of doing yeah. things, is there? Yes, of course. So um, share with us, who can actually take part in the scheme? Is there an age limit? Um, for example, if I wanted mm -hmm. to do the scheme, mm -hmm. would I be able to do it? Or am I, am I already past the age? Well, uh, unfortunately, you cannot. Uh, unless... Uh, you are uh, between uh, 14 and 24, but you have a young soul, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, already, I'm already 25, so I, I don't qualify. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the award is available uh, to young people between the age of uh, 14 and 24, okay? So the basic structure of the, the award consists of 
four mandatory uh, uh, sections, whom are voluntary service, okay, skills, physical recreation, and adventurous journey. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sounds amazing. Um, yes, of course. How, how can we... Oh, we have uh, Abdelhani Kukus that has joined us saying good evening, good evening, Abdelhani. Good Glad evening, Mr. Abdelhani. Oh, and Stephen says good afternoon. Yeah, good evening, Thank here. you, Stephen. Good evening, Stephen. Thank you. Oh, bon courage. Have, Merci. Uh, yeah, Merci. thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Merci. How can young people <clears throat> register for this scheme? Uh, concerning participation or how to enrollment, let's say. Or registration in the award, uh, it commences by mutual agreement between participants and their award leader, or uh, 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 another uh, suitable adult, for instance, the award coordinator uh, or the award leader. Uh, however, they can also register online uh, in the, the the center in the online record book. Okay. So uh, it involves the issuing of a username and a password for an online database, of course, and the, the, the participant will fill in uh, his or her uh, uh, details and information. Excellent. And yes. will it? Will so in it a cost? nutshell, there is, there is the online method and there is the, 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 the physical method. So as they can come and we will uh, take care of the registration. Right. When they you can say come to, to the association. To the association uh, office. That's what I was going to ask. Yes. Yes. Uh, the association office. Excellent. <laughs> and uh, will it actually cost the participants a fee to take part? Is there a fee that they well, need to pay? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Well, concerning the, the fees they, they to take part uh, in the award, uh, concerning, we have uh, said that we have three levels, the bronze, the silver, and gold, right? Yeah. So uh, 25 uh, pounds per the bronze, it's equal uh, 310 dirhams, okay? And okay. Uh, per the silver, 310 dirhams. And for the gold, it's 372 dirhams. Uh, for the gold, it's 30 uh, pounds. And the, the, here we have the address of the association appearing yes. for anyone that doesn't uh, know in, where the, yeah. where the yes. uh, offices are. Uh, Residence mm -hmm. Mediterranean, uh, 28 Sol, uh, 29 Avenue Youssef Ibn, uh, Tashfin, Tanja. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is where mm -hmm. the um, Straits of Gibraltar Association offices uh, has its headquarters. So if you don't have the online facilities, that is where we encourage yes. you to go. Uh, what, uh, what, what, uh, what time is the one office One note, open? I want to add it. Uh, yeah. It's from 9 uh, morning to uh, 5 uh, evening. And that's Monday to Friday? That's Monday to Friday, yes. Excellent. Uh, concerning one note I want to add concerning yes, the payment. So the participants, they may uh, pay online using their cards, their MasterCards or Visa cards or whatever, or they can pay uh, through our uh, uh, independent award center. What about a young person who's watching this and doesn't have the, the means financially to do this? Yes, so uh, our association is collaborating with many sponsors uh, recently. So we will uh, afford uh, uh, many, many uh, uh, registration fees for uh, participants who are not able to participate in the, the, the award, of course. Uh, as well as we are arranging with other external helpers Yes, concerning the, the, the award and, uh, you know, the, 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 the four sections that we have talked about. Uh, for example, gyms and uh, uh, charity associations mm -hmm. uh, and uh, others. Yes. 
So, so other re external help. Really, we're also encouraging any any gyms, any association uh, wishing to be a part of this a bigger yes. picture to yes. contact we'll the Straits of Gibraltar Association, offering their their facilities. Um, yes. Can somebody join, for example, the silver or start at the gold, or does everybody have to start at the bronze level? Uh, everybody has to 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 start at the the, the bronze level, okay? Uh, or the the uh, sorry, the silver, right? Okay? Both are, but the golden uh, they should go through the silver at least. Right. So, in other words, unless you've done your silver first, you cannot attain for gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And how how long? Uh, what what time frame is there, if any at all, to complete any of these awards? Uh, to complete the levels. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, it takes six months for per uh, the the bronze, and it takes uh, twelve months. For per the, the the silver, and it takes uh, uh, eighteen months for the per the gold plus the residential project in the golden uh, stage. Wow, yeah, sounds so so interesting. Oh, Michael Pizzarello there saying congratulations, great start to your award career. Uh, for those that Thank don't you, know Michael, Michael Pizzarello, he has been heading the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme in Gibraltar. In fact, let, let, me, share, let me share a little anecdote with you. Um, the Duke of Edinburgh Award is on its 50th anniversary, and for its 25th anniversary... Um, That's great. Michael Pizzarello actually headed... Uh, um, a gala dinner at the old casino in Gibraltar and the Duke of Edinburgh himself actually came to Gibraltar and oh, attended the, the gala dinner and both my wife Priscilla and I uh, actually attended so um, wow I've, I've just had a, a flashback of 25 yeah, years ago yeah, in Gibraltar yeah, so th this is That's really great. a very very big <laughs> thing in, in, in the United Kingdom and in all the Commonwealth countries, as we saw in the introductory video, the amount of countries that actually yes. partake in yes. the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. Yes, it's more I, than I 140 uh, country countries. Are, yes. Yes, countries. I, I, th that I are think leading this is, the award. Mm -hmm. This is an, am an amazing achievement for Morocco uh, because it's the first time that. The Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme has been introduced and uh, you applied and you obtained the license. And this is like a baby that has to be nurtured now. Uh, I, yeah. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I'm really very hopeful um, because I can see that you're a very enthusiastic young man and you're, 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 you're the right person to, to lead this. Oh, we have a message from uh, the association president, Mr. Brahim Krikas, and he says, Hi, guys. Henry, you're looking great like always. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's the lights that are very kind to me. <laughs> sad, best leader we could ever have. Uh, sad, tell us what's the added value that the award provided to the candidates? That's the question. Thank you very much, Brahim, for the yes, question. Yes, thank you, Mr. Brahim, for your question. Well, concerning for uh, concerning what the the award will provide the participants with, it's a self trust first. Uh, second, it's uh, uh, something that is practical, you know, because many many participants uh, in the award participated in the voluntary service, for example, and they keep. The voluntary service after after the award, so it has an impact on their future. It has an impact on their their selves. Fantastic. Both a positive one, a practical one. Oh, we have Adlai Bagliato joining us. Says. Sounds great. I wish I could do it. Uh, I encourage all young people to take part in such an amazing award. Thank you very much. Thank Adelaide, you. For joining Thank you very much. That's very Gibraltar. kind of you.
And we have Stephen Marine joining us as well, says, given the award is being launched via Strait of Gibraltar Association, I assume you must have links with the Gibraltar branch of the award. Yes, of course, we will. Um, I, I remember, I remember um, mm -hmm. early nine, 2019, we, we had a, a meeting in the association with Mr. Kenneth Cardona, who's also been very much instrumental in the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme in mm -hmm. Gibraltar. And mm -hmm. he came, gave a talk to the association um, to explain exactly what it all entailed. And I was present and so was my wife Priscilla in that, that meeting. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, today I feel very privileged and proud to be interviewing yeah, the, the young man the that's here. going to be heading this. We have Manar Thank joining us from kind Gibraltar. Of and she says, hello, I did my Maybe. silver award back in 2010. It's a good opportunity for every individual. Thank you very much, Manar. Thank you very much, Manar. Thank you. Sharing that with us. Wow. Yeah. Um, That's all those very years interesting. Ago. Hmm. Yes. And we have uh, Amina from Rabat joining us. Thank you, Amina, for joining us. She says, thanks uh, loads to the Straits of Gibraltar Association for this opportunity to have the Duke of Edinburgh Award in Morocco. And special thanks to Mr. Saad as leader of the award. And of course, Mr. Henry Best Oseva. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> My question, does the Duke of Edinburgh look good on a CV? Wow, it's a very good question. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Amina, for your question. Uh, well, concerning the, 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 the impact of the Dofi, uh, it's, uh, it's really a plus in the, the CV because uh, it, it's a practical, it's a practical uh, award. Okay, so uh, if you add uh, that you have, uh, uh, for example, you have passed the bronze or the silver or the golden level, so uh, it's a trust that you are uh, practical and that you are uh, uh, challenging your 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 let's say your uh, zone of comfort well yeah. i suppose it also so, shows <clears throat> commitment uh, discipline yes, commitment discipline yes yeah. yes of course so in other words having done the duke of edinburgh award scheme uh, having it on your cv is a plus for any potential a plus, uh, course, person wanting to employ somebody uh, yes. Stephen is now saying, I'm aware it is also mm -hmm. open to disabled young people, he's asking. Yes, it's open to, to young disabled people. Because uh, the, in the award, it's the individual who, who, who sets and designs uh, a program for his own or her own. So we are setting uh, 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 smart uh, goals, and then we go step by step challenging uh, our our uh, our fears, our zone of comfort. So, in other words, the Duke of Edinburgh to reach, to reach our scheme does not discriminate in any way, other than so it's there not is an competitive age. as there much is... as it is. Uh, yes, it's not competitive as much as it is an individual challenge. So everyone has his it's his or her uh, own challenge. Fantastic. Wow. Yes. Sounds incredible. Um, Sad. one mm -hmm. more question is, uh, what do you, when do you see the scheme starting? Oh, yes. So uh, I think uh, we, will, uh, we will start the scheme by uh, the beginning of June or by mid-May. After inshallah. the holy month of Ramadan, of Ramadan, of course. That, so that's then, we are, then uh, participants are very welcome because we have to make some uh, uh, some uh, arrangements with uh, external helpers, as I have already mentioned, uh, the staff or the volunteers who directly support the the the, the participants, uh, yeah. other associations, gyms, and so on. That we will need in 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 the four sections. 
Fantastic. We have Michael Pusarello again saying, uh, actually saying, yes, it does. As Saad has said, it is a plus. Many organizations worldwide recognize the award as adding great value to any young person who undertakes the award. So thank you, Michael, exactly. for exactly. sharing thank that Thank you very much. With us. Thank you very much, Michael. That's very kind of you. Well, we had Chada Rani from Ujda saying, is there any risks regarding the physical tasks or the adventure task? Well, uh, as uh, much as you uh, 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 challenge yourself, uh, we are making smart uh, goals. So we are challenging uh, according to uh, step by step methods. So uh, there will be no risk at all. And uh, we are uh, going to set up uh, programs that are, uh, 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 you know, uh, practical uh, somehow. And there will be no risk, of course. Fantastic. And we have. Mohammed from Saudi Arabia joining us. Thank you, Mohammed. Wow. Very interesting to see the award arriving to Morocco, my second home in Wazazat city. Do universities care about the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme? I, uh, I'm i a teacher, by the way, he says. So thank you very much, Mohammed. Thank you very much, Mohammed. I'm a teacher as well. <laughs> Well, uh, concerning universities, of course, as we have uh, already said, that uh, the 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 uh, mentioning the the award is a plus uh, in your CV on your CV. So, uh, of course, uh, if you have if you have it on your CV, this is a plus, and you will explain to them what is the, the Duke of Edinburgh's international award and how it works and so and so. Uh, so they will surely uh, be in and they will surely accept. So uh, it's, as I said, it's, it's a practice. You show that you are uh, competent to do things and you are able to do things and you are able to challenge uh, whatever uh, comes and whatever life uh, is getting over you. Thank you for your question. We have Nancy joining us now from Gibraltar. Thank you, Nancy. And her question is, can you fail the Duke of Edinburgh bronze or other categories? Mm, uh, that's a good question. Mm. Uh, I think uh, uh, regarding the, the, the online record book, uh, if you don't get to the target, you should uh, continue until you uh, get it. So. Uh, it might be an extension of, of, of uh, or lengthening, lengthening the, the, the period of, of time, and then you will get to your goal. Uh, it's, it's about setting, setting goals that you will challenge. In other words, nobody fails. They're just given yes, an extension exactly. of time to achieve exactly. their targets. Wow, that's, exactly. a, that's an amazing uh, way to see it. Uh, we have Salwa from Casablanca. Thank you, Salwa. For joining Thank us. You, Is there any sponsoring for those who cannot afford it? Mm, uh, to the I moment, think all, yes, we, we are. All, yes, we, we have already question, mentioned. Let, let us repeat yes. it for yes. Was, yes. Uh, we are we are working on collaborating with the many sponsors whom will be re uh, sponsoring many many uh, participants' fees. So uh, as the, the award will be open for everyone because Morocco, uh, we have to, to, we are making, let's say, uh, a Moroccan version. See? So we are, of course, uh, aware of this and we are working on it. Of course, we are making our, our arrangements with the sponsors and so. So we will be sponsoring many, many uh, uh, award fees. Stephen says, having the award launched in Tanger is a dream. Actually, I would add to that, it's a dream come true. Because we, yes. we, ca we can have yeah. many dreams that never materialize. But this is <laughs> yes. a dream that is actually Comes. materializing it. 
We've yes, seen it we nurtured. Are, we are uh, practical. <laughs> it's being bought. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, it now has someone that's heading it. That's you. Uh, so Thank it's fantastic. Um, so I hope I... Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, Reda, Reda from Nador. Nador. Oh, that's Does nice. He's, he must be Rifian. Any royal representation from the prince himself? Mm. Reda. Well, uh, thank you, Reda, for your question. Uh, concerning the golden, uh, the golden level, uh, there was uh, a ceremony uh, done in Britain. Uh, sometimes they they call for uh, the independent award centers. Sometimes they don't. It depends on the organization. Well, uh, that's what I what I know uh, for the moment. Uh, uh, plus, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, for the, the the golden level. I mean, uh, ceremonies are done in the in the 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 internet, in the award center most of uh, the time. So it depends on, on the on the the organization. Well, inshallah, by the time inshallah. people achieve those awards, so, we will have so done if they away call us, with then any we will go, restrictions certainly. of COVID yes. and we will yes. be able to have um, awards as we've always had them, as we've, yes. as we've always and now they are now they are doing the ceremony online, the golden yes. ceremony. Yes. We have Inas from Fez joining us. Thank you, Inas. And the question has disappeared. Oh, there it is again. How long does it take for the Duke of Edinburgh to be approved? I'm not uh, sure what she means by approved, uh, whether it's yes. approved. Uh, let's read the question again. Uh, if I, How if long I, if does I it may... take? Yep. Yeah. How do you interpret Maybe that? she's talking about the levels, isn't it? Well... It, it could be if that. it is about the levels uh, for the for the, the bronze, it takes six months for the silver, twelve, and for the gold, uh, it's eighteen months plus the 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 residential project. We have Stephen saying, "What benefits do you think this award brings to young Moroccans?" Of course, a uh, lot of benefits because uh, young people are in need uh, to this award, are in need to, to, to practice more than uh, 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 theorizing, like uh, they need it in their CV, they need it in their... Uh, it's life-changing, mm. as I have mentioned before. So and it helps everyone to, needs, to, boost everyone their, needs their to practice this award. Everyone needs to get enrolled in this award. Of inshallah, course. inshallah, inshallah. Uh, going, going back to the question of sponsorship, is the sponsorship coming from Gibraltar, from Morocco, a combination of both? Can we appeal to anyone listening if they want to sponsor uh, a participant? Um, of how course. can they go about mm -hmm. it? Do they contact mm -hmm. the association? Yes. So I think concerning sponsoring, uh, I think they should contact our association, whether it's international or national. So we are working on both. Uh, but uh, uh, recently we have been interested in uh, international sponsoring and uh, we will also uh, work on internal uh, or national uh, sponsoring, of course. Fantastic. I mean, it all sounds so, so exciting and you're ra you. raving to go. Is there anything else that you would like to... Oh, we have uh, Hoda from Tetuan says, what skills can you do for Duke of Edinburgh award scheme? Uh, for example, in the, the, the physical recreation, you can practice running. Uh, in the, the, the charities... Uh, in the the volunteering uh, the volunteering uh, uh, side, uh, in for example, the skills you can learn uh, how to play piano or guitar, and uh, in the the in the adventurous journey, 
we will uh, we will plan for it and then you choose uh, the goal of your adventurous journey and go for it so there are many many activities that you can do in uh, uh, each uh, section in other words the li the list is endless and the scope yes, is very very of very course. wide it's about it's about when you choose the 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 activity that you are going to do you should push forward your dreams and push forward your challenges mm. and that is what is important in the award is to overcome the limits oh, we have Youssef from Meknes joining us now thank you Youssef thank I you think Youssef. volunteering is very important for this award uh, is simple it's about choosing to give time to help people the community or society of the environmental animals your volunteering must not be done for a business but can be undertaken mm -hmm. for a charity or mm -hmm. none uh, not for profit organization thank you yes, very much Yusuf, for thank you very much for Yusuf. your participation yes thank you Mr. for Sad. your wise words thank you is there anything else you would like to add to everything i that would you said? like to to thank everyone i would like to thank the audience and i would like to thank you for hosting me it was really a pleasure to to have talking to you about the, our project and our association project and our doors are always opened and we are welcoming everyone and that's it we want to 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 afford uh, and push forward our community doing cultural exchanges doing, uh, 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 helping young people and developing their skills developing our nation inshallah. inshallah thank you very much mr Saad thank ben you Yaku. very much and thank you yeah. all for having joined us in our cultural exchange it has been a pleasure to host you tonight live from the casbah in tangier bringing our cultures closer but before we go and i leave you with a great moroccan singer he is mr mohammed elias tribak
Thank you very much for sharing that amazing voice with us. As I said, thank you very much for all of you for joining us live here from the Casper in Tangier. We see you in the next one.